All right. So shout out to this guy. This this guy uh, in my inbox on uh, Instagram, my DM. Um, this is why I like Kevin Samuels. Because this guy isn't being thirsty in my inbox. He's not sweating me like that. He's just, basically, if anybody follows me on Instagram, they know that I fight hard for men's rights. Um, I'll show you my Instagram real fast, whatever. But I just want to say this guy inspired me to actually look up and see who this Kevin Samuels person is. Because I've been hearing him a lot. And I first heard about him on YouTube um, a couple of weeks ago when it was just like something about some lady who's not really attractive or something like that but she's i guess saw herself as like a high value woman or something like that i don't know i really didn't really get into it but it was basically she felt like she was more than what she was and i guess p people were offended or whatever whatever okay so yeah that's how i heard about who this kevin samuels was and now I, I i love his his uh videos and all things like that so this guy said because i hadn't posted about four or five months on instagram about you know men's rights and he said uh just checking on me you know how's it how's it going i said i'm good that's good you gave up on the page and information he's basically saying you gave up posting about men on instagram and I said, no, just been busy with my YouTube channel. And so many MGTOW men think I'm trying to pander and be a pick me. That gets annoying when I know I gen generally, I meant genuinely want to help men. I mean, I meant sincerely. I don't know what I meant, y'all. I knew you did. Don't let them dummies irritate you. I never found the YouTube. I said it's in my bio. Oh, wait, hold on. I think he said I was like the female. Uh, hold on. Let me find it. Hold on. All right, y'all. I am so sorry. That was another guy telling me he wanted me to make my post again, encouraging me. This is actual young man who sent me my post in my DM. And it was basically me saying most women have a prostitute mentality and they don't even know it. You don't just have to sell your body to be a prostitute. Anytime you require a man to buy you stuff, have a house car, etc., just to be around you or date you. You are prostituting. Stop requiring men to have what you don't have. I said what I said. So, yeah, I have this thing that I uh, created called uh, Men Have Rights Too. And, yeah, I um, just show you real fast. I'm not trying to advertise. I'm actually talking really fast because um, what the freak is all this? See, I ain't posted that long. My hashtag ain't even. Anyway, I'm not really trying to promote myself. I'm trying to talk real fast so that I uh, I can get to the point. So, yeah. Just trying to give you an idea of who I am. Men have rights, too. This is a logo and things I created. So, yeah. Let's uh, go back to that DM. So, he was like, yes, person like you has been keeping it real and telling hard truths. You're like the woman, Kevin Samuels. And so I'm like, you know what? I keep hearing his name. This is what I'm thinking. I, like, I, I watch it a little bit. People keep talking about him. I need to really go check him out. So now I'm a fan. So then I said, somebody got to say it, LOL, thank you. And I really do feel like that because there's no accountability in women, especially black women. So when people see me in... You know, me talking about these issues, especially being a black woman, young, you know. <laughs> but anyway, he said, I really think such truth can fix black relationships and community at large because most are in delusion. Delusion. So, yeah, with that being said, let's get right into it. So um, with him saying that, I said, OK, you know, let me go find some more Kevin Samuels video videos based, you know, just instead of that one I saw. And when I uh, searched his name not too long ago, uh, earlier today, I saw this lady, Kevin Sam Samuels is a misogynist, rant part two. So then I said, OK, well, let me find part one. So I just won't jump up in here. 
but she didn't even put part one number one and first of all I don't I don't like people who start their videos all close up to the camera like this like you ain't got sense enough to edit if you're gonna cloud chase edit and you got a long face and it's manly and most people say light-skinned women have softer features <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all who she look like pause and then we go get into it you lucky I can't find who you talking about it's some light-skinned black woman on some like medical show like with a real manly face but I came across the ugliest actresses slash celebrities list from IMDb. OMG, they are not discriminating. No, they didn't do Jennifer. They are not discriminating. Blacks, whites, it's a lot of... Oprah, bro, Oprah finna sue them. All right, let's get to the point. Okay, y'all, I hate when people be... That's why I keep stopping and people be interrupting me. I be trying to turn notifications off, all that stuff. Ugh. All right. So, um, I decided to do a part two follow up video. First of all, hello, I'm the spiritual whistleblower. For those that don't know, I did a part one video about Kevin Samuels, the image consultant slash life coach or whatever the fuck. Did you catch the shade in that? Because you can tell based on the way she said it, she doesn't believe it. But yet we're supposed to just believe that you're the, what is it, spiritual whistleblower? <sighs> A woman basher, misogynist. Truth teller. This is why I, I really don't like women, even though I'm a woman. Because... The majority of the things that these men say, especially the MGTOW men, is the truth. You just don't want to hear it, but you call it bad. Let me shut up. Let me go. Let, let me let her. Um, and so many hurt little boys. Yeah, little boys. Got my comment section. Ad homonyms. I can't really address what you're saying because I know it's true, but I'm just going to discredit you know, your career and what you label yourself as. And I'm just going to call you a little boy. And now, yeah, you're going to see how she's going to get into calling him a narcissist. Black people overuse words and it don't even be true half the time. It just sounds intelligent. And half of them be calling a narcissist. It's just stupid. And, you know, that was expected because I called Kevin Samuels out for being a narcissist and one of the telltale signs of narcissistic abuse is narcissists have an army of minions okay it's, it's like a cult so did what Disney Pixar um, Kevin Samuels is a cult leader and his followers um, are like under hypnosis slander 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 that's one thing i don't get with these colored or excuse me light-skinned beige waffle colored folk or anybody but mainly black people it, you know I'm not, I'm not gonna say mainly mainly black people for this it's a lot of clout chasers online that will slander for clout you can't do that and you know what uh-uh no ma'am sir you see i'm about to slander you I know it's Valentine's Day coming up. We know you're not a virgin, so you don't have your V card. But what is that V in your neck? What? I don't. Listen. I don't trust people with deep dents in their throat. Because I feel like you had something removed. You feel me? Was it an Adam's apple? Hmm. I don't know. So anytime you attack him, um his minions will come after you no they're called supporters they're called fans if you go hard for somebody do you know the definition you don't know the definition of a narcissist apparently but do you know the definition of a fanatic as somebody that really goes hard for someone right yeah hard like your c-o-c-k that i believe you have i don't know if that's removed but of course they're going to stick up for him like your penis. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me be serious. They're going to stick up for him. What the freak is wrong with? Ha Don't you want fans? Apparently you're cloud chasing. Oh, my God. Them dislikes are serious. You know what? I'm, I'm going to have to add to that. I'm going to have to add to that. You're cloud chasing to get fans, right? Supporters. This is what I don't like about the majority of 
people and especially women that they won't attempt what the freak no i'm not trying to download this video the devil's a lie they want attention so bad even if it's negative attention they where is your daddy where is your daddy did he not love you enough did he not love up on you enough all narcissists are like that i don't care if, if you have narcissists in your family if you have narcissists in your workplace they all operate the same they keep they keep an inner circle of toxic minions and these minions will do the thing. let's generalize all narcissists i hate when idiot illiterate people try to act like they teaching something and don't know nothing got a strong nose too you got a stronger nose than a daddy from good times these minions are called flying monkeys if you ever seen the movie um wizard of wizard of oz um the wicked witch yeah i'm talking about if you ever seen the uh, a, a movie called wizard of oz as if it's some like independent movie that ain't nobody heard of if you've ever seen it <sighs> flying monkeys seriously west kept an army of flying monkeys and these flying monkeys did her bidding they did her dirty work they went out and kidnapped Dorothy and of all the examples you can use you talking about Dorothy Toto all these other folk the Wizard of Oz all them seriously follow the yellow brick road <sighs> you think we just gonna follow you cause you yellow huh no you know you guys if you've seen the Wizard of Oz you know what that's why I love Kevin Samuel followers that's why I love Tommy Sotomayor followers the men because they're not just going to get on here simping because she's, you know, what people would. Well, I'm not going to even say you would be the, con, you know, standard of beauty considered because them, them nostrils right there, bro, you could snort up a whole more freaking Great Depression line of cocaine. You know how long them Great Depression, bruh. Tiffany, you're doing exactly what you're saying she's doing. Yeah, you're using ad homonyms. No, I'm trying to help her see the error of her ways. Toxic delusional motherfuckers that do the work, the bidding, the stalking, the harassing. Um, you know, they do the work on behalf of the narcissist. So all these weak little boys from, you know, uh, Kevin Samuel's, uh, I don't even want to call it an army because they're too weak. They're too weak. But they're coming in droves. We don't believe you. You need more people, right? He has a lot of people. So what do you mean they're too weak? Your genetics are weak because you're light skin, you're beige colored, you're peach. An army, but his collection of broken mommy boys, they came over into my comment section to attack as expected. Bitch, you can't break me. I'm seeing breakage in your hair, but okay. Talk about what am I, have I ever been married? Um, what is my dress size and why do I, <laughs> bitch, I curse because I can fucking do the fuck I want. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> they hit on with what's your dress size? Like that toxic motherfucker bullies women. I can do the same. Don't do that double standard shit over here. Okay. Because I can guarantee a lot of you motherfuckers got a toxic mother. A toxic mother, a toxic ass, nasty, narcissistic mammy. That's why you really hate women, bitch. Oh my gosh. Kevin hate women. I bet you he hated mammy. So basically, telling the truth about women means you hate women. Okay, got it. Love hate relationship with his mammy, and so all these broken ass niggas are are the ones that are feeding his channel. Now, as far as the females, well, no, let me look at here, Rachel Dolezal. No, you know what? Let me let you talk. I'm, I'm gonna get to the toxic females that follow him. But as far as the toxic Oh let me get this straight. We're toxic females because we're actually agreeing with the truth and with the accountability movement for holding us women accountable. Okay. All right. The toxic men that follow his sorry weak ass. Yeah, he's weak. The majority, um, I, I've split them up in categories. The majority of, of Kevin Samuel's followers are either work on them split ends. Purely narcissistic sociopaths, which mean uh, most of them are womanizers. Yes. Um, Why? Um, 
you saying all this stuff with no proof to back it up, no receipts, just making blanket statements. Sure, many of them have put their hands on a female and have. So now his followers are abusive. They on that Chris Brown. They on that Ike Turner eat the cake anime. I'm just trying to help you, Ike. With no proof. All these people that you don't know. Let me calm down. Because I try to work on being loud. All these people that you don't know, you've now accused them of being womanizing abusers. Because you don't agree. Thank you, Laura, for another day. Every time it turns midnight, I like to thank the Lord for another day. Because you don't agree. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you're trying to... violence. Yeah. Okay. This yeah. this is this is this you're looking at if the Me Too movement was a person. Speaking of the Me Too movement, have you seen what that lady looked like? The ADD is real, but y'all need to see this. Cause see, this is how the Me Too movement is made. Yeah. This lady with the pregnant nose looking like Raspucia is the founder of the Me Too movement. You know how you can look ugly with makeup? I thought that every woman looked pretty with makeup, right? She probably has issues with her face, okay? Even if she didn't have that stuff on her face, she would still be ugly. What's her name? What, what, what? <laughs> her in quotes. Look at this. You sure is ugly. Hold on. Tarana Burke looking like she needs to be a Burke. All by herself. A dude. Look at that. I don't trust nothing that's even ugly when they smile. Like you ain't got no cute features. What? Okay, whatever. Let's get back to it. This bitter female right here is the type that get mad on Valentine's Day when people <laughs> are posting couples pictures, little stuff like that. Stop showing off your relationship. Yeah. Many of them are closeted gays. I'm sure many of them, and we're not talking about job title. We're not talking about education because a lot. Did y'all hear that? They're women, not womanizers domestic violence woman abusers and now she didn't put homosexuality on these men okay abusers have degrees a lot of abusers have high paying jobs let's just get that shit out the way we talking about character <sighs> there are broke dudes that abuse women like where are your facts cause right now I'm just hearing opinions brokenness Minions and opinions. That's all this is. Your childhood trauma with your mammy. So his male followers, a lot of them have mommy, severe mommy issues. Meaning so you've met all of his followers in person and you found out. Look at that. You need to be worried about the dot in your eye. Whatever you got going on with your vision. Right, your your physical vision is messed up. Your mental vision, where is your third eye? Cause that ain't there either. They even though they might love their. Mommy where's your pineal gland and where's your penis? <laughs> their mammy gave birth to them and raised them. They, you know, they have a hidden resentment towards mommy because mommy's a toxic motherfucking abuser. Mommy, you know, um. The word is Kevin Samuel was raised in a Kajic Church of God in Christ background. Correct me if I'm wrong, but those types of church environments. Yes, I'm definitely here to correct you because you are definitely wrong. Incredibly toxic. They are cult like. They practice misogyny in the church. The pastor is is uh, uh, abusive. Um, so I don't trust the hoe that's always saying um because you just trying to think of what you about to say, just making it up as you go along. Church, um, you know, victory, um, and just drink every time she say um now you're not gonna be able to unhear it by the way i've ruined this entire video for you because all you're gonna keep hearing is um religion to abuse you know script they use scripture the bible 
the Bible is used more so as a means to control and abuse victims rather than to teach. And these people do not, they're, they're not consistent with, with the word. They go to church as a facade, but behind closed doors, they're very abusive. So they're disconnected from the, uh, from the faith. But they use So, you know, I'm about to do an um, counter. That way I can hush while she talks and I can just do an um, counter. Religion as a cover up. You know, they use it as a facade so they can appear to be holy and sanctified. But behind closed doors, they're demons. And I'm willing to bet Kevin Samuels, Kevin Samuels' mammy is a fucking narcissist. She's one of those church going motherfuckers. You know. Look, she she freezing up. She glitching up. All these old ass hags that go to church with their hats and they 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 they, they suits and shit. Trying to look shiny and and, what? and um, so holy. Do you want them to be ashy? The most messiest bitches in the church. They're the most gossiping bitches in the church. Seriously, you sound worse than the people that you were condemning. I don't understand this, and I, I don't know if she's trolling, cloud chasing, or does she actually believe this? She, look at how she speaks, profanity, all this other. <sighs> women's husbands you know talking down on the younger generation the younger females messy you know she's messy and i'm sure she's financially controlling kevin doesn't like his mother that's all this is kevin was raised around women he don't like now he may respect them i don't know their educational backgrounds or what they do for a living that's different again we're talking about character don't get character mixed up with education and financial status okay we're talking about character kevin what's your mammy's character i i would so love to meet her well I bet your no, no 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 you don't need to meet her and ain't, she ain't said um yet since i said that bastard you don't need to meet her because you just said that she's a mammy that she's probably financially controlled i mean you, why would you need to meet her as if you want to know more about her when you just told us all about her without even knowing narcissist I dare you to come for me. And for all you, you motherfuckers that say I need to go on his show, you know what happened if I go on his show. He would not let me get a word. No, 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 no. You know that he's going to hit you with them facts. He going to hit you with that logic. He going to hit you with the truth. And you scared. That's what that is. Why make all these videos where you can just like, right? Like if you see this and don't like it, which I'm pretty sure you don't, you won't. Then you will feel free to contact me, Tiffany Monique Draper at gmail.com, and I'll definitely do a show with you or whatever the case may be. So we don't have to continue this tit for tat back and forth, you know. But you don't want to do that with him, and you definitely don't want to do that with me. But you don't want to do that with him because you know you're going to get flamed, period. He going to finish cooking you since you light skin. <laughs> what, what, what was that movie with uh, Dave Chappelle? What was it called half baked or something? I don't know. Shoot, I don't know. Shoot, I was born in ninety one. Because I know him better than he knows himself. Kevin is an art. He is a textbook overt malignant narcissist, and like other cult leaders, and you know, um, he has this. Uh, the, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 um. Now you arming. Um, after I took off the arm um, tracker. Like Harvey Weinstein and Bill Cosby and R. Kelly that have all this money and fame. and they're behind You know what? Are you a male hating bastard? He, uh, uh, she woman, he hand man hating club, whatever, from <laughs> the little rascals. Because you saying he hates women, but all I'm hearing and seeing is you bash men. Those doors of using women. And they're so delusional and detached from reality that they think they'll never get caught because of their fame and success. What happens? God will, God exposes and everything. I expose as well. And why are you talking about God when you need to just blast his church? That they do in the dark comes to the light. Heaven will have his day. Trust and believe. I got women coming to me now. If I gather enough receipts, I'm going to expose all of Kevin's sin. If you gather enough receipts of all the stuff we have going on in the world, you're making it your mission to expose Kevin Samuels for speaking the truth. Okay. All right. Samuels dirt, I promise you. And, 
and, and, and he will slip. All narcissists, they think they're so smart, but they... I don't need you to learn how to pronounce the word correctly. Narcissus. Narcissus. So like Narcissus. I said his male audience, they're little weak boys with severe mommy issues. You do understand that this video that is, what, 18 minutes could have been over? Because basically all you're doing is just repeating. You're, it's like you're on a loop. You're repeating the same thing. Women because they really hate their mother. But they just go around projecting. I'm sorry. Room. Where is your psychology degree? Where are you a therapist? Counselor? Like. Oh, you're a YouTube graduate. Ones that watch all these videos on YouTube about narcissism and whatever else and think that you're quite boy that neck is protruding what in the world you look like beyonce on that performance that time where they said she was morphing from a demon the incredible hulk is on that neck you suspect I i'm gonna try to get to your house and I just want to use the bathroom, right? And I want to go in that medicine cabinet. And if I don't see any type of Midol, any type of tampons or pads, every woman has to have that in the vault for that time of the month. If I don't see it, that's going to be my receipts on you. Mm-hmm. And they project their hidden resentment that they have for the mother. They're toxic. Trust me, that mammy is toxic in the motherfucker. Okay, is this about Kevin... His followers or his mother, because you have bashed this man's mother. Like, that's, I'm gonna need you to. Why do people do that? Because you know, if we went and found your mother or posted her on here or whatever case may be, which I would never do, and you'd have a problem with it, you would say, Talk about me, talk about me. It's not about my mom. So, why are you bashing this man's mother? And they're gonna say, Oh, don't your mama, your mammy better not come for me. Seriously. If she. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. She would have every right to come for you for calling her a mammy. About their mothers that they can't fucking stand. And rather than them to take their ass to the psychiatrist and deal with that shit. They, they take it out on the women in their relationship. Their baby mamas are going to pay for, you know, the baby mama they shouldn't have baby mamas and you shouldn't be a baby mama that's number one right yeah so you're gonna say that he's gonna they're gonna take it out on the baby mamas let me let you finish this the, the pain that their mommy put them through their wife what about the pain that baby mamas put themselves through by making themselves baby mamas hmm no accountability Project, 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 and they become misogynistic because of what their mommies put them through. Maybe their mommies beat them. Maybe Meanwhile, they could have had the best mom in the world. A, a Annie Camden from Seven Heaven type mama that did everything right. And that's why they don't like you. Because they had the example of a good mother. That could be the case. And they know what a real woman is. And you don't fit that. Huh? Okay. Just like your turtlenecks don't fit. Because your neck is wide with. Yeah. Yeah. Mommy's husbands or boyfriends sexually molested them. Oh you know, my there's God. something that mommy did. Oh mommy my God. All of these accusations. <laughs> Younger childhood years, his teenage years, and he fucking resents her for it. So, Kevin, I know what's up. I would love to meet your mother. I would love to meet your ex-wives. You got two. And the word on the street is, Kevin, you have been engaged eight different times. Correct me if I'm wrong. Why would anyone take fucking relationship advice from a man? Hmm. Just like they'll take it from Steve Harvey. Because, see... If somebody has gone through all that stuff, that makes them even more qualified to speak on it because they are a living witness. You're taking it as an aspect. Why would somebody listen to him if he's had all these quote unquote failed relationships, which I don't know because I haven't taken the time to dig in this man past. I'm just going to watch his videos because I'm here for his videos. I'm not here to slander him. Unlike you. 
you can learn from somebody based on their mistakes and know what not to do just like you can look at their good things and learn what to do lady how old are you i'll be 30 in may i'm pretty sure based on your crow's feet that you're probably 40 you should know better lady Um, that doesn't mean somebody's a bad person. Do you, you would use that same excuse. They're not a bad person. That doesn't make them a bad person. If somebody leaves them, you would be defending a woman saying that, but then turn around and say, you must be a bad person because they left you. This is the contradictions. She has a dick. I'm, 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 I'm freaking, you know, convinced, but these are the contradictions of most women. had been married past tense therefore you have a failed relationship so therefore why should we take advice from you oh because you quote unquote learned your lesson right so why can't kevin samuels have learned his lesson oh because he had more marriages than you so that makes him not qualified please Drop dead gorgeous. You just make sure you don't drop dead from high blood pressure. Yeah, hypertension because you got a lot of tension. A lot of tension, especially in that neck. I encourage you to go see, you know, a masseuse or a chiropractor or something to work that out. You are very angry. You are very hostile. You are the diary of a mad black woman. Not a woman, woman. So you make sure you go and get some beta blockers or something to calm you down. Some some St. John, John's wart, some type of pill, patch drip, shot, aromatherapy, whatever you need. Acupuncture or acupressure. You can send a whole army of motherfuckers over here. I'll chew these niggas up. That's that's really right right there. Make that a meme. Cause that's what I'm thinking. You would chew them up, really. You happily single. So I'm gonna be in your business since you all in Kevin's business. Um just because you're single, do you still like deal with men in a relationship? Not relationship, but like friendship level or a friends with benefits and i dare you to respond saying that's none of your business well it's none of your business how many times kevin has been married or it's none of your business what his followers relationship with their mother is i'm not going to refer to them as mammies okay so um like i said his followers are broken or are you a nun type woman who who don't have no type of sexual nothing not i don't know i don't know maybe you mad because you are you know like i said what they would say the standard of beauty but you still did not have a successful relationship like halle berry see when a woman is quote unquote drop dead gorgeous but they can't keep a man they're usually crazy and i'm getting crazy vibes all over this all over this Okay, I'm done. Because like I said, repeat, 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 repeat. I, I, listen, lady. Stop clout. We're just going to recap. Stop clout chasing Kevin Samuels. Stop putting his name in your tags. If it's Stop. I encourage black people, especially black women, build your following based on you. And not off of somebody else because you think this is going to catapult your channel to the top. But really, it's probably just going to get you flagged and taken down. And then you're going to have to start all the way over again. You could disagree with him, but disagree respectfully. 
I don't know if that's in your genetic makeup. By the way, you 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 need makeup, but you think, oh, I'm natural, and I have my natural hair. You thought we weren't gonna flame you because you want to act like that you're not quote unquote what they would call ghetto and ratchet with the weaves and the makeup and the eyelashes and all that other extra stuff. No, because everything in your head is chopped and screwed like you were a Houston DJ. I'm just waiting on you to talk like this because I know you can with that Adam's apple straight like you chopped the screw slipping on that dirty Sprite. (sighs) It's your girl at Tiffany M. Draper. I have zero, not low, zero tolerance for 99.99999% of women. And I encourage you to get rid of that 99.99999% of odor causing bacteria and vaginosis in your vagina. Find some Lysol and get rid of it. It's your girl at Tiffany and Draper. At Tiffany N. Draper. Mm. You didn't made me have an N. I guess N for narcissist. Tiffany M. Draper. And the N is for Monique. All right. I'm out.